I don't have a problem with his sexuality. I have a problem with it when he gets overboard. He starts doing things, saying things that he shouldn't say. When I come back with the lashing of the tongue, it's because of the words that he said. See, it takes two to have those things. I'm only going to take so much of you talking to me any kind of way. I'm the parent. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that the parent is right, but I'm just saying you have to respect your parent. Mm -hmm. And you have I to be careful what you say you, because when you be, always be ready to handle the heat in the kitchen right. if you're going to throw the heat out. Right. Got it. So why don't, but, but as think, his father, why don't you just walk away then when he starts to get it? Because we understand, and you're a very smart man, when kids lash out because they're going through pain. I was a young father as well, so my child was born when I was 16. So I understand that there are moments where like, even now, there's only a 15-year difference. And so when he says stuff to him, sometimes I, I see a grown man. I'm looking at him like, <laughs> if he was on the street, it'd be a different situation. But I have to click myself into, I'm the father. So your words are coming from a state of pain. You're in, there's something that's hurting you from what, something in your childhood, from your mother, something that's hurting you, so I can't match your pain. So why don't you, in those moments when he hits, as you said, brings the heat in the kitchen, why don't you just walk out the kitchen? Why don't you just say, let me walk away? Well, I'm not that guy. Got it. I'm not that guy. And I'm not either. And that's the thing. Like, yes, he is my parent, but he has not been the role model as a father. How did it make you feel that he wanted the DNA test? Well, I was shocked. Yeah. But at the end of the day, um, a DNA test does not make him not my son. Have your other kids talked about him to you? Not really. There has been conversations because in March, somebody made a statement of a life insurance policy that automatically drew up more anger towards him. Mm -hmm. And because now I feel as though you're going to other siblings of mine are talking about my personal business yeah. when that's not their business. Got it, got it. Got and it. it was under the impression that that would be my policy. Mm -hmm. So he's been having me pay that policy. Mm. And So you're feeling like he steals from you? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, because I am not the policy holder. He's the policy holder. I have asked my dad to change over the policy. He won't even release the policy to me. How, how does that I'm paying the money. And, but he's it telling doesn't me, make me feel no way because he know his situation. No. He can't get insurance unless he's up under me. Mm. Period. No. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. We don't want to put your business out there, son. Yeah. So please remain. Please, See, please oh, keep that's it what real. I'm saying. No, I'm just saying you don't want your business out it's there. So good, understand. Though, because understand at the, end the end reason of the day, that you. The reason Daddy, that I have the policy. It doesn't have nothing to do with no son, business. You're stealing from me I, because I'm paying. I'm paying my money, my money. So you just no recently stopped paying your insurance. It doesn't matter. Yeah, because you won't release the policy. And they say you can give me the policy. No, they didn't. I talked to the son, people. I know what the man sat down and told Daddy, me. Daddy, son, you are a hypocrite, and that's well, what well, it well, is. Well, like, if you ever sit Daddy, here and call you me are a hypocrite, hypocrite you done cheated on your <laughs> now, Daddy. Come on now. So hold on. So hold on. Okay. Yeah, come on now. I see it. Yeah, I come see on it. now. I see yeah, it. You, you're the problem. No, 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 no. You are the problem. Let me tell you right you now. You are the problem. My son. So first of all, none of that is for yeah, anybody's business. Dead. Secondly, I saw he exactly what happened. He's nasty. I told you. But your pain, yeah. which I understand your yeah. pain, and mm -hmm. I acknowledge your pain, mm -hmm. but I do understand mm -hmm. how... I, I saw the breakdown happen yeah. in real time mm -hmm. that we just talked about before yeah. of like... I'm gonna, you're saying, let's not go there, mm -hmm. let's stay calm. Yeah. And you're like, now nah, I'm gonna keep pushing you. I'm gonna keep no. pushing you. Not how I, he talked to me. Do you love the Karamo Show? Yes! Well, we're back for season two. So make sure to subscribe to the Karamo Show.